Welcome to the WNBA Summer Showcase, the All-Star Game. With Tim Swartz and Brian Vanifatemi, I'm Blake Suniga. We are so excited to bring you the action. So, Tim, what do you expect tonight? The forecast is lots and lots of fun. It's the chance for the best to go head-to-head, -head, team up two. Also, we might see players try a few things out we wouldn't see in a regular season game. And, Brian, what a weekend here, culminating with the big game. Just a great event for the league. You have all the top players, all the top broadcasters. This should be incredible. And one thing we'll be monitoring tonight, Breezy's matchup. And when you face former MVP Neka Agumake, you have to play smart. Agumake is strong, great around the rim, and shooting it from deep. So you have to guard the entire court. And I've been excited for this one. Their first meeting of the year, these are two players we will be tracking all night long. The three from Candace Parker. The Western All-Stars grab the miss. We played just over a minute here in the first. Breezy. And the West All-Stars with another three. And here is Vandersloot. And it is just truly amazing to see the level of talent on the floor tonight. It really is. The WNBA All-Star Game is a showcase for some of the best athletes in the world across any sport. And the competition can be fierce. These players have so much pride. Every one of them wants to be the best player on the court at all times. Now here's Williams. Pass to Stewart. Five on the clock. Shoots over Savali. And that one's good, Stewart. Ionescu, left side. Now here's Breezy. No good with the triple. Open McKay outside. Now Vandersloot. Rebound by Breezy. Outside Young. Pass to Breezy. The kick out to Ionescu. Here's Breezy. The three-pointer off the mark. The East All-Stars trailing. To the wing, right side. Vandersloot outside. Now Ogumake. Shoots over Breezy. Shot's good by Ogumake. You have to respect the outside game from Ogumake. She's not just a post player. And here in the first, three minutes in. Now here's Parker. Pass to Vandersloot. Back to Parker. That comes off the assist by Courtney Vandersloot. Well, if there's somebody open on the court with the same jersey on, Vandersloot will find her incredible court vision. Here's Breezy. Drills the three-pointer. She is just tearing it up this quarter, and I don't think this lead is going to go anywhere while she's this hot from the field. Now here's Parker. Ogumake, Breezy covering. Outside, Parker. Williams. Shoots over Young. And she misses her first shot of the game. Breezy. And the West All-Stars with another three. And here are the East All-Stars now. Seven-point differential. Pass to Agumake. Back to Williams. Throws it up high. Nice catch and finish on the alley-oop. Her assist average has increased here in the league. Williams has become a more willing passer. Great five. Fires for three. And the West All-Stars with another three. And 
Here are the East All-Stars now. Vandersloot outside. Pass to Stewart. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Here's Breezy. Fires the three. And it's Courtney Williams with the rebound. Vandersloot left side. To the middle. Stewart. Well, Brianna Stewart has an assortment of moves offensively. So when she's looking to score, she's able to keep defenders guessing. Here's Breezy. Buried from out. After the review, the ruling on the floor is overturned. And it looks like they are going to review the play. The question, did she get the basket off in time? And the footage relayed to the officials from the replay center in Secaucus. Uh, I think she got it off in time. The basket's coming early and often in the first quarter. The West All-Stars on top, up seven. And we'll be back in just a minute with the... The start of the second quarter. And it's the second quarter right in the thick of this All-Star game. And it's already been a lot of fun. Up top, Vandersloot, guarded by Canada. Vandersloot outside. And here's Ryan Howard from the arc. McCowan with the rebound. The Western All-Stars with the lead. Pass to Canada. Breezy. Good, and Jordan Canada gets the assist. Now get your popcorn ready. Her performance from long range has been something to behold, something to admire. Yeah, no doubt about it. I mean, that's been her shot today. Back to Howard. Let's it go from deep. The Western All-Stars grab the miss. As a player, you always want to be able to answer back, but she just didn't have it in her. Boy, Ryan, that's five straight made three-pointers. The defense giving up a barrage. Most teams get the message to cover shooters after one or two wide-open threes, but they just aren't figuring it out. You go out there and tell them, Brian. Okay, maybe I will. Launches a three, and she's good on the three ball. Sometimes when you're trailing in a game, the players get sucked in the, uh, trying to make the home run play. That's right, uh, but all these threes haven't helped. You know, they're, they're trying to rub sticks together and catch fire, but, but they're using wet sticks. You know, there's no success right now. Breezy gets the bucket. Three's going down quickly at both ends. What an answer. You come at me with the three, I'm coming right back. Everybody gets a three. Here's Howard. It's hauled in by Boston. A good board there, but overall, they're getting slightly out-rebounded. And they've just got to find a way to get back into this game. That's as good a place as any. Just increase the effort on the board. It seems that every pass they make is leading to a score here. Just phenomenal ball movement. Everyone's looking for the best shot, and it's paid off during this run. Vandersloot right side. Out to Howard for three. Ryan Howard with another miss. Yeah, I mean, she has been way off the mark this quarter. It is getting rough. Young shot is off. Outside Howard. Let's it go for 14. That one's good. Maybe that'll get her going after a 2 for 6 start. Well, when you watch Start Ryan Howard, one thing is abundantly clear. She doesn't need a lot of space or time to get her shot off. And we're just over two and a half minutes into the second period. Here's Breezy. Good. And Sabrina Ionescu gets the dime. Great read by Ionescu at just about six feet. Sabrina is pretty tall for a one. She's able to see the whole court. Pass to Stewart. 18 feet out. It's hauled in by Boston. 
I guess even she misses those easy opportunities once in a while. Now here's Breezy, guarded by Howard. Breezy with it. She's got 36 points. Sinks the triple. And there have been various formats to the All-Star game. You know, East versus West, Captains, the U.S. team versus everyone else. So do you guys have a favorite? Well, I've really enjoyed the Captain version. It's cool to see the draft process and who every Captain picks. I mean, that's almost just as exciting as the actual game. Those have been great. You know, I've really enjoyed watching the U.S. team games. You know, they usually play the same year as the games. Uh, great prep before they chase gold. Here's Diggin Smith, still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. Brianna Stewart from outside. Another three for the East All-Stars. She's been a real positive factor, though as a team, they're still falling a bit short there. Pass to Ionescu, and here's Breezy. Now here's Boston, guarded by Howard. And here's Breezy. And she has 42. All these threes they're giving up have really been the driving force of this run. And the points, they add up in a hurry when you give them looks from deep. Don't give us space. Don't give us space. Outside, Diggin Smith. The tray. Howard misses. It's been a bit of a struggle for her this quarter in terms of scoring the ball. Here's Breezy. Yes, and it's Elena Deladon picking up the assist. Over the course of her outstanding career, we've seen Deladon become a willing passer, increase her assist numbers. Up top, Diggin Smith. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Now Breezy. That will count. Oh, no good trying to beat the buzzer. And you see the quickness of Howard and how much it helps her defensively. She makes it very tough for shooters to get away. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. The West All-Stars on top, opening a huge gap. And don't go away after the break. We'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. Second half of the WNBA All-Star Game, the summer showcase for the W. Here's Vandersloot, looking for her first basket still in this one. Outside Williams, back to Vandersloot. She can't get it to go. Good D by Sabrina Ionescu. Young with it, and Parker picks her up defensively. And stolen by Courtney Vandersloot. From downtown, gets it to go from downtown. And Vandersloot can make this shot, especially when the defense isn't guarding her very tightly. Pass to Saboli. Breezy, she's covered by Ogumake. Gets a three-pointer to fall. Here's Williams. Sloot outside. Stewart. Ogumake up top. And a great assist by Brianna Stewart as that one goes in. That was a heads up play by Stewart. Look, the bottom line, she's a playmaker. And the West All Stars with another three. That's a dozen straight points coming off the threes. Yeah, they're having free reign from beyond the arc. The defense is, I'm going to go out on a limb and say it, non-existent. Left side, Williams. Fires from deep. Another three for the East All-Star. The rapid fire three is coming from everywhere. I wasn't sure they should try to get the three right back like that, but hey, it worked out for them. Breezy. And the West All-Stars with another three. Nothing but money for them to start the half. They're three for three. Pass to Stewart. On the wing, Courtney Williams. 
tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. So many games are decided by which team wins the rebound battle, and that's how true in this one, Tim. Yeah, Brian, their effort on the glass, it has given them the advantage. It's made a difference without question. Ogumake, and there's the call on Alyssa Thomas. First that's her foul. first foul. First team foul. Pass to Ogumake. It's in, and she's a very efficient five for six on the game. Thomas outside. Young. Breezy. She's covered by Ogumake. Breezy gets the bucket. Triples keep on falling, guys. Three in a row now. These defenders can't stay so soft on the perimeter. Vandersloot outside. Stewart with the ball. Okay, just three to shoot, hits the three-point bomb. She's leading away offensively. Can they ride her back into it? Pass to Breezy. Beyond the arc. Inside. Over to the wing. From outside the arc. And the West All-Stars with another three. Wow, I mean, what can you say? Now the East All-Stars with it. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. Ogumake outside. Back to Vandersloot. Pass to Parker. Stewart. It's a plus five advantage for them in the rebounding category after that one. Very steady work they've been doing on the interior. Really a well-rounded effort overall. Reezy gets the bucket. They're in good position here thanks in part to her efficient scoring. Now here's Vandersloot. She's tightly guarded. Pass to Williams. Shot off that time. Some solid defense from Jackie Young. Here's Breezy. And the West All-Stars with another three. She's been one of their more reliable options today. And it's her shooting that has given them this lead. Outside Stewart. Now here's Parker. Outside Williams. Pass to Stewart. It's in. Basket number six for her thus far. She has missed only two shots from the floor. You can see that they're not as aggressive from the three-point arc. They had many more attempts in the first half. Jackie Young from outside. Stewart grabs the miss. Now here's Parker. Vandersloot right side. the buzzer beater at the end of the third quarter a huge lead and this one may already have been decided the west all-stars on top running up the final quarter of the all-star game what a special night on the WNB. They are skyrocketing every single year. Well, it's through major increases during the 2022 season. And you just look at the 2023 draft. It was the most watched in almost 20 years. I love seeing how much the league continues to grow. And you use the right word, grow. It happens with viewership, getting more eyeballs on this incredible league. While other sports leagues have seen kind of declines in their ratings, the WNBA continues to take steps forward. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession, so we'll have a jump ball. Now here's Breezy. She's guarded by Williams. Here's Breezy. The Western All-Stars with the rebound. The three. And the three ball is good. 
She's doing everything for them right now on the offensive side. No matter what the defense has done, she's had an answer. Pass to Ogumake. Back to Parker. And she's going for the alley-oop. Very pretty alley-oop layup. A true student of the game, Ogumake is constantly learning new ways to break down opponents. Breezy, she's guarded by Williams. Breezy can't hit. And here are the East All-Stars now. Vandersloot with it. Outside Williams. Picked by Agumake. The three is up. Williams can't get it to go. They had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. And when she's open like that, you don't see her miss that sort of look very often. A little over three and a half minutes in the books now for this fourth quarter. Both need Vandersloot for three. Drops in the tray. The defense has to respect Vandersloot's range. Can't let her get space from those corner spots. Pass to Boston. Right wing. Here's Breezy. Yes, great play by Aaliyah Boston to set it up. It has been a three-point barrage for them since halftime. Yeah, I don't know if it's been by design or by accident, but either way, it's been impressive. Maybe the, the coach just went up to the locker room chalkboard and just uh, put a number three out there. Breezy with it. Defended by Stewart. And Vandersloot over to help. Now here's Breezy. Vandersloot defending. Breezy gets the bucket. Terrific run to put this ball game away. And now let's see just how much longer they keep that foot on the accelerator. They've got to keep it on the accelerator to the finish line. Here's Vandersloot. Outside Williams. Pass to Stewart. Six on the shot clock. Another three for the East All-Stars. An emphatic three-point answer from Stewart, refusing to let the opposing team own the arc. Here's Breezy. Misses the three. Outside, Parker. Williams. Down low. Ogumake. And she makes that one. Such an effective player. Neka Ogumake has led the WNBA in offensive rating, a great measure of your impact on the offensive side of the ball. Good on the triple. Well, they hardly needed anyone else today to get out to this lead. She's provided almost all the offense. So no problem for the West All-Stars as they get the win. What a great game. Anytime you get to see all these stars on the floor, it is just so special. It was also a nice little break from the grind of the regular season. Now, our entire focus is on this stretch run.